Okay, good afternoon. And live na po tayo in the... Okay. Medyo... Na late po tayo ng konti mga kaibigan, but uh, we are still on time. Brown out po kasi dito. Okay. Brown out po kasi dito sa ilo-ilo. Kakailaw lang po. So, uh, brown medyo uh, setting up po tayo. Okay. Okay. Uh, just. Oh, okay, so, uh, mga kaibigan, eh, medyo, uh, what do you call this? Ah, uh, okay. Medyo kaming si Kalbo. <laughs> okay, but anyhow, uh, this is the beauty of uh, of a live show. Diba? Because uh, anything and everything is possible. Okay? And uh, as we would always say, you know, um, by hook or by crook, the show must go on. Not so possible. Possible. The show must go on talaga, no? But anyway, um, as we would always start off with our meditation, okay, with our uh, topics uh, here in Bonding with Rilj, we would always kick it off meditation, with, okay, with our meditation, right? So our meditation for this afternoon, my dear friends, is uh, taken on the book of Psalms, okay. Uh, share screen, okay. It's taken the book of Psalms. There you go. Psalm one forty three verses three to four, which says, "For the enemy has persecuted my soul; he has crushed my life to the ground; he has made me dwell in darkness, like those who have long been dead." Therefore, my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is distressed. This is the word of the Lord. My dear friends, many times in our lives, we would, we would be frustrated, right? We would be dismayed. And uh, just like today, you know, diba? uh, today our plans are, is, uh, is being tested, okay? Our plans is being tested because uh, since a little bit uh, around 12 o'clock today, brown out po dito sa Iloilo. Okay? And so, we were kind of, what do you call this? We were kind of on our, our feet if we could have the show today or not. In spite of the plans that we made, in spite of... Uh, the preparations that we made, diba? there are really some things that we cannot, uh, we cannot avoid. Preparations, okay? We cannot avoid. But as we would always say, you know, uh, how do we deal? How do we deal with these frustrations? Okay? If we would read the Bible, my dear friends, uh, how do we deal? We could we would see there a story about Moses in the book of Acts chapter 7, verses 22 to 30. And um, we could see here how Moses, okay, how Moses planned and defended. Okay, so we can see here, or we know Nasi Moses po is, a, a, is an intelligent and learned person. And isa din po siya sa mga chosen few sa Bible, okay? And as we all know, Moses planned and wished and desired to help the Israelites, his fellow people, no? to, to go out of captivity against the Egyptians, okay? But there was a time, one day, that uh, may nakita po si Moses na isang Egyptian at uh, inaaway yung ano yung isang uh, what do you call this isang uh, Israelite and he was just so mad that he was able to kill the Egyptian okay and uh, to make the long story short the following day uh, he again saw another 
quarrel, another fight, but this time it's between Israelites themselves. Diba? So to make the long story short, sabi nitong uh, Israelite na to, sabi niya, oh, anong iniisip mo? Are you also going to kill me like what you did with the Egyptian yesterday? And so, out of frustration, out of dismay, Moses fled to the median. Okay. Why am I sharing this? The point here, my dear friends, is that we plan things out, but sometimes our plan does not go along the way. Sometimes our plan does not work out like we used to, you know, as, as expected. So ano po ang gagawin natin dito? If we would follow the story of Moses 40 years after an angel of the Lord talked to him sa, sa burning bush. No? And uh, for sure, uh, narinig na natin yung kataya, take off your shoes, Moses. Yeah. What's that in your hand, Moses? It's just a rod. Take off your shoes, Moses. You're on holy ground. Mga ganong uh, dialogue sa mga kanta, which really happened during those days, you know. And Moses did not give up. Although he had a lot of frustrations, but he did not give up and he still continued to, to, to follow the Lord. And so ngayong hapon, quickly, my dear friends, before we go to our topic, okay, uh, paano po tayo nag-deal? How do we deal and... Uh, go about the disappointments in our lives. As we continue to face the pandemic, marami po sa atin ang frustrated. But, number one, we should remember that we have a sovereign God. Okay? We have a sovereign God. Okay? And, uh, maybe, lahat po tayo, okay, lahat po tayo is, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, we are, we are afraid or we forget uh, that we have a sovereign God because we are so focused. We are so engulfed with, with our authority. We assume authority. We assume power. We assume the privileges which are not really ours. Diba? These are just lent to us by God. Okay? So every time we have frustrations, every time we are in some power or authority, we should always acknowledge that these are just borrowed. Okay? God is still sovereign. God is still above us. Okay? So that's why in making plans, okay, in making plans, we should always remember that God is, is there. Okay? So number one is we should remember the sovereignty. And number two, we should also remember that God has a plan para sa atin. Okay? Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 says in the hearts in their hearts human plans humans plan their course but the Lord establishes their steps. Okay? So meaning to say my dear friends that yes we make plans but it is the Lord that blesses them. And we can also see in uh, Psalm chapter 27, verse 23, the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Ibig sabihin, my dear friends, that as we make our plans, okay, as we make our plans, we would always remember na lahat ito eh, may purpose ang Panginoon. Okay, God has a plan for all of us. And every situation we go into, every situation that we um, we experience, okay, these are all routed or they are all connected sa plano ng Panginoon. And maybe we would say, well, we, we do good, but why is it that we still suffer? We do good, but why is it that we still, uh, that we still are discouraged or disappointment, uh, disappointed or failed? Because... God wanted us to learn something. Okay? God wanted us to learn something. So ngayong pandemic, okay, ngayong pandemic, why is it too long? Bakit ang tagal ng pandemic? Bakit hindi masolve-solve yung pandemic? Maybe because 
we have not learned our lesson. Maybe because God is still talking to us. Or maybe because we have not yet recognized the intervention ng Panginoon. Okay? Well, maybe some of you would say you are so uh, holistic. That is so too good to be true. Okay? But, well, we cannot do anything. Okay? We cannot do anything but, as we would always say, life is not all that bad because... Sa Philippians chapter 4 verses 11 to 13, dito po makikita natin. Sa verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Ngayong hapon, mga kaibigan, we will hear stories about how God has, has, uh, has encouraged some of our friends. This afternoon, we would be inspired by stories that how God has, has seen us o paano po tayo alalayan ng Panginoon sa gitna ng, ng pandemyang ito. Okay? It's just because we just need to be sensitive to the leading ng Panginoon, which would lead us to the third point. Okay? So our third point, which is, remember that our view of things is often different from God. Nirecited po tayong mga tao, but God is, is not. Now, Romans 8.28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. All things work for good for those who love Him according to His purpose. Ngayong hapon, mga kaibigan, okay, we would, as I have mentioned earlier, okay, we have guests that uh, would help us Okay, uh, inspire us some more. Okay, sa gitna ng pandemic. Okay, how would how things would would go about? Okay, and uh, we are just so blessed that uh, we have friends who are very much willing no, to to share to share our to share their stories and encourage all of us. Okay. So I hope, my dear friends, that as we deal with frustrations, as we deal with uh, disappointments, okay, let us not focus on going down with a frustration, but we can also look up. We can also uh, look above the situation uh, and that we would acknowledge that God is there with us. Kaya nga po eh, He has given us uh, the freedom to choose and He has given us uh, His Holy Son to, to assist us. Okay? So sana po eh, ngayong hapon, you would join us, you would interact with us, okay? You would interact with us and um, feel free to leave your comments, your reactions, okay? As we talk, continually talk on stress and anxiety due to pandemic. And with this, I would like to call on ang co-host po natin ngayong hapon is si partner Mirna kasi si Elaine is still busy. Okay, partner, uh, nakamute ka ata. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Palitan natin. Okay. Okay. Uh, partner? Gusto na. Ayun. Uh, baka gusto mong palitan ang iyong... Uh, uh, there you are. Ayan. De, kasi... Okay. Nag-e-echo pa ako, partner? Ha? Huh? Nag-e-echo ako, hindi. Uh, hin so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Pero... 
Medyo madilim ka, partner. <laughs> madilim. <laughs> madilim ba? O papatayin ko na lang yung ano, yung sa... Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Okay, let okay. me, let me transfer you. Oops. Ayun, pinatay mo na yung isa. <laughs> o, oh, pinatay ko na yung isa. Pinatay ko na lang. Okay na? Mas maganda sana yung isa kasi mas maputi ka doon. Ah, okay. Sige lang. Ito na lang. Kasi baka mamaya, ano. Okay. Uh, okay how would you like to focus yourself somewhere in the middle? Ayan. Whoops. Ito nga. Move to your right. Move to your right. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's a way eh. Partner, partner. Okay. Partner. Alam okay. ko live na tayo ngayon, ano? pero ang tsura mo ba daw, daw handong? <laughs> Madulo. <laughs> Nag-e-echo doon sa kabila. Madulom ang suga mo, partner. Matsag ko daw ang hubot ko sa buong landong. <laughs> My goodness. So, sige, sige. I'll, I'll try. Anyway. Um, sige na. Um, while you're doing that, okay, uh, I'd like you to do the honors no, of of introducing ang guest natin. So, I introduce na yung guest natin, okay? Yes. Okay, so, go. ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, by the way, to all our viewers. Uh, and welcome to our... Uh, session for today, uh, bonding with Rilj, uh, and uh, with us. Okay, gusto niyang i ano introduce lang. Our guest wants to be introduced simply as a mother, a mentor, an entrepreneur, a tourism advocate, and an aspiring artist. She is also a uh, dating new grandma to a little smart guy named Ink. So, ladies and gentlemen, our viewers, our um, guest for this afternoon is no other than Dr. Maria Amihan May Panes. So, welcome in our meeting, uh, Mom Panes, Dr. Panes. Hello, uh, mayong hapon, mayong hapon sa tanan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ayan, kamuntik na ma'am na hindi matuloy ang ating uh, program ngayong hapon. Yeah, I was really praying na hindi mag-brown out dito sa amin. <laughs> Ay, that's good. Pero dito sa amin, kaka kakabalik lang ng ilaw. <laughs> yeah, and uh, welcome po. Welcome sa ating uh, program Bonding with Rilch. And we would like to thank you for, for sharing your time with us. And we are expecting one more, pero since uh, may time difference tayo, no? so may time difference tayo, so baka tulog pa yung isang kaibigan natin. Uh, I buzzed in na uh, a while ago sa kanya, no? uh, si, si Francis. So baka tulog pa siya sa, sa Oman or uh, I think also little connection problem sa, sa Oman, hindi pa niya na nababasa yung uh, message natin sa kanya. But anyhow, uh, kamusta po, ma'am? Um, well, well and good. <laughs> I think meron mo echo. Echo. Okay, no? Darling, partner. Uh, I think it's your beautiful partner. <laughs> Nag-transfer ka na partner sa, ano? Pa transfer ka sa... Sa lap, sa, no, sa iPad mo. Mag-transfer ka sa iPad mo. Pumunta ka dun. Di ba kahapon sa ano, sa, what do you call this? Sa love hour natin kahapon, you were in a good uh, position kahapon. So, go there. <laughs> okay. So, ma'am, um, once again po, um, I understand you you're also a teacher sa CPU, right? Yes, I do teach uh, uh, graduate school and likewise uh, undergrad for tourism courses. Tourism, okay. How tourism, does it yes. feel for now working with uh, with tourism and uh, graduate school? Product din it's good. School, eh. Yeah, it's good, especially because I'm also with the private uh, with uh, with the industry, the tourism industry of Iloilo both mm -hmm. in the civic groups as well as I have a little business that's involved with, with tourism. 
Ah, uh, so parang it it complements, no? Teaching it bridges the gap between the the industry and then the academy. So parang because I have uh, experience in the industry, so I know what to be inputted doon sa loob ng classroom for our graduates to be ready to be immersed in the industry later on. So parang it's a blessing then that I was able to, you know, to be in both the academia and the industry. Uh, so um, uh, like uh, when you enter, syempre may face-to-face pa tayo noon, di ba? Yep. So, mm-hmm. But now we are with the um, online thing. How mm-hmm. different is it, ma'am? Wow, the transition was really very challenging. Let's call it challenging. Oh, para kasi you slept. Na it was just an ordinary day. Tapos you wake up in a completely different world. So, parang everybody has to rush learning the tr- tools of the trade. You know, transferring with the transition from online, from face to face class to online class. Ah, uh, hmm. it has a lot of ano, difficulties, but then again, it has advantages also. Like for example, I'm doing graduate school. Yung graduate school students who come from all over the Philippines now. So during my class, I have I have a student from Iligan, I have a student from Palawan, Dumaguete, Sambuanga, which usually you cannot do mm. when it's face to face, diba? Kasi the traveling alone or the expenses of traveling cannot be, you know, uh, yeah. it's very hard for the students. So I think that's one advantage. Okay. So can you say, ma'am, that it is uh, it is um, what do you call this? Uh, better off the the online thing with uh, the face to face. I cannot really say na better off because there are some activities that's really good to be done sana, like yung mga subjects na events, like you know that na event management. It really parang it's different different if it's a face to face physical uh, interaction with people. But the good thing is we learn something new, and hmm. this this learnings come. For example, we're talking about events classes. Yung mga estudyante natin yun, they're really good at it because these are the young generation who are very techy. And you know, mm. the, the, the technology that comes with the events na online platform right now is something that is hard to... Parang a challenge pa for the old, for the traditionalists. Di ba? Pero yung mga bago came into the field, who came into the, the arena, ang bilis nila mag, ano, mag-patch up. And then they're really coming up. The students come up with very, very good online events. So mm. parang... We cannot say na ano na it's a uh, it's something bad or a disadvantage to have not face to face. It's just a matter of adjustment, you know, and looking at it positively. At ano pwede mong gawin given the same circumstance. So yeah. ganon paren. Now as a teacher, we we have to do we have to be versatile. We have to be you know um, ready to take on <laughs> something new, something new, something the new challenges. Alright. And speaking of challenges, mama, no, uh, I understand muntik na tayo mag-abot sa CPU sa HRM. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, I think I, ilang, uh, ilang tao, what, a year? A year or so? Uh, yeah, because if, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, habang no, nagkapentuhan uh, tayo uh, last time, mm-hmm. um, so you offered me a uh, position in teaching before they started the uh, the HRM program pero sabi ko ma'am parang pagod na po ako sa pag-aaral parang hindi ko makikita yung self ko sa teaching <laughs> you know but uh, here I, but here I am still in the field of teaching hindi nga lang sa classroom sa online mm-hmm. I think I think in my case the trick why I was still I am still into teaching is that binalance ko siya with being in the industry so, parang I also imagine myself if I, I could have gone full time all the way without the challenges of the industry, without immersing myself in the other side, I'm going to get bored also. So, parang ano eh, ang ganda ng ano, parang I, I'm doing a lot of things na iba-iba. Diba? Tayo naman sa events industry, gusto natin ganyan eh. <laughs> my, my new challenges every day. My new challenges, correct. Now, before we go sa challenges, mama, na, I'd just like to greet uh, one of our friends also, si Lizette, watching us, supposedly co-host in natin siya, pero she is working right now sa Oman din. So, uh, Sunday kasi, so work schedule nila. So, mm-hmm. partner, Lizette, okay ka lang sa baba. <laughs> okay. 
And to all our friends in Facebook who are watching right now on Facebook, uh, feel free to come and join us no? sa, sa YouTube para makita nyo naman po si Ma'am Panes and uh, ang ganda ng background ni Ma'am Panes ngayon, which I'm very sure it is connected sa kanyang uh, coping mechanism sa pandemic na ito. No? So, mga friends natin sa Facebook, if you'd like to see the beauty ng mga painting sa likod ni Ma'am, eh, join us po sa Facebook, sa, sa YouTube. Okay, but you can just have your mata doon and you can put your comments dito sa, sa Facebook. Okay. So, Ma'am, um, speaking doon sa mga challenges, okay, how did you cope up with the pandemic? Okay. Uh, Real, uh, as what I was telling you last night, uh, before the pandemic, I work always almost 15 hours a day, 12 to 15. That's that's my regular routine. That's my regular grind. Because again, I was I was teaching and I was into managing, co-managing um, an events company, a travel and a travel agency. Um, so, parang when the pandemic came in, it was really a really a very Blatant change. Talagang pagising ko parang, Blatant. wow, I'm staying at home. When I'm se I seldom stay at home, even on Sundays. After church, labas yan, I still have something to do. So, and then aside from that, aside from the change in schedule, and of course, the, pan the pandemic came, nag-close lahat, di ba? So yeah. I had to close the, my BB company, yung isang company na BB ko talaga, which is like 12 years old already. And eventually, I lost that. No, because you also you all know when the pandemic came, the first to be affected is the tourism industry. So kami yung mga travel agents na una talaga. And the sad thing about this is that it looks like we are going to be the last to recover. Kasi you know naman travel is not really a basic need. Diba? Hmm. People will not die if they don't travel. So parang yeah. in, 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 oh yeah, if you if you look at the priorities of people right now, traveling is not really that Priori prioritize over food, medicines, diba? But of course, we need that, no? So for mental yeah. health also, we need to relax. But then again, when I lost that, siguro sila, ang, ang, ang sama na pakiramdam ko, every day was a challenge because I was, you know, parang losing something that you really love, diba? Something that you created, something that you developed. And mm -hmm. then aside from that, unti-unti na rin you're losing your people because there's no business, eh. So wala, no, 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 no people. No, 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 you know, diagnosed to have that anxiety and depression. And I was mm -hmm. given like meds, counting dosage, dosage lang, you know, to combat it, you know, to anticipate it. But then something wonderful happened. And that is, I discovered painting. Good. Well, before before we go to so discovery mo in painting, okay, mm -hmm. I'd like to greet si Ricky. Uh, Rick, uh, magandang umaga, way out in Africa. Okay, wow. a chef sa, sa Africa. And would like also to say good morning then kay Noriel, no? Way way out in uh, Abu Dhabi. And for mga international yung mga na online natin ngayon, na. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beauty of online. <laughs> yes, ma'am. They are all uh, Ilongos. Si Ricky po is from Aklan, si Lizet at saka si Noriel are all No, Lizet I think is Tagala. <laughs> Sorry, partner. Okay, uh, Noriel is from Iloilo. Actually, okay. is, uh, is, uh, root is uh, Ilocos. Ay. Ilocos, no? Ilocos. Yeah. Ah, Dubai. So, Dubai. 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 Pero yung pinakaroot nila, it's from, the father, I think it's from Ilocos. Ilocos. I'm not yeah. so sure lang. Pati ata si Ma'am Gorospe, yung, yung mother sa, sa mother's Ma side. Ma'am, Ma 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 We'd like also to say good afternoon kay Mark Bimboy, way out in Aklan. Na, oh, halong ka mo da. Okay, nugay lagaw ha. <laughs> okay, a first cousin ko sa Aklan. Um, 
you mentioned about uh, depression. Yes. Okay. So I'm very sure that many were also in that boat of uh, I think so. almost being depressed and nagka depression because of pandemic. You know. So how did you cope up with depression? Think knowing na teacher po kayo sa uh, HRM sa graduate school. So they would say that uh, teachers would usually have a broad thinking and medyo hindi madaling mag-give in. But in yeah. your case, you almost had depression. So how difficult was it and was it easy oh, for you yeah. to accept? That's uh, it. Siguro my training, because of my training in the industry, and you all, you all said that, none of my training as a teacher, parang it was a challenge, but a challenge that I wouldn't want to give into. I mean, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say na natalo ako dun sa challenge, no. Before the pandemic came, uh, the, I was blessed to go to the States, no, sa New York. I think that was December before the pandemic. And I went to the Metropolitan Museum, where they have all the beautiful works of the greatest artists who ever lived, no. So, real Na, nagulat ako no, why I, when I came in when I saw the paintings I, I didn't know that I was already crying tumutuloy yung luha ko <laughs> and my friends who brought me there I was really wondering grabe ito si Bea bakit umiiyak I think it really started it was really in me already I, mm-hmm. I love going to museums I like looking at artworks I, I like looking at colors so when the pandem- pandemic came and I didn't really my, my, my hours were not filled no not, 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 not the usual na usually busy ako there was an encouragement from my friend in the United States, my best friend, because she was also into watercolor at that time. And she said, why don't you try it? And then my firstborn, my kids are actually artists, real. Uh, my firstborn is a vir- virtual architect. He, uh, he, was, he used to work with uh, Hewlett Packard, but he's now freelance. And my second mm-hmm. son is, um, he's an animator of Knowledge Channel. Siya yung gumagawa ng mga... So they, they were encouraging me. <laughs> Doon ako nagmanda. <laughs> so they were encouraging me. Yes. <laughs> nagmanda. So I started with actually watercolor. But eventually, after that, I said, no, no, I want a real canvas. Kasi watercolor, usually you use it for ano, a paper. Right? So I went to SM and I bought, ano kailangan ng artist? Sabi ko dun sa sales girl. Canvas, brushes. <laughs> Binili ko. I started. I just started. And almost every night, I, I, I did a different canvas. That's all it started. And I really found joy in it. Nakalimutan ko lahat. Nasakit ko. Nakalimutan ko. I even forgot meals. <laughs> when I'm painting. <laughs> well, yeah, because they said that painting is really uh, the language Engaging. of art. And the, mm. Yeah. Kumo mahilig ako sa sa painting actually, mahilig ako sa painting pero ang painting walang hilig sa akin. So I said <laughs> abstract painting. Kasi <laughs> kanakita mo to sa likod, dito sa likod pala. Yeah. I, I, I also do potteries. Painting. I came from Hibauan, Pavia. It's a place where they they, they manufacture, you know, um earthen terracotta. Mm-hmm. So binibili yan. So I was thinking to help also, no, uh, the, the home industry of my of my place. Mm-hmm. I am buying all the terracotta from there. Na polish ng husband ko, and then uh-huh. I paint. So ito na yon. Wow. So it really looks like ceramic, no? So so I, I get orders for this already. I'm, I'm blessed, no? Kasi mga friends ko nag-order na ngayon ng paintings, ng pots. So sabi ko, thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, <laughs> ma- partner, ma- ang gaganda, partner, ang gaganda ng mga gawa niyan, yung hmm. hindi mo akalain na she's new with, uh, with, with the talent. Uh, although, yeah. how many months lang, uh, Ma'am May? Uh, uh, it's, uh, not, 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 it's barely a year. Kasi I started end of July. Mm-hmm. So barely a year, and I have 105 canvases already. And so parang ako nga, no, eh, parang <laughs> na-addict. Can you believe, can you believe, partner, that within a day, uh, with, with within oh. one setting, she could finish one painting? One painting. <laughs> so, g- ganun siya kabilis talaga. Oh, kanina sabi mo, may ginagawa ka. Tapos ngayon, nakapost na siya ng ano. Uh, she had posted already one uh, painting 
uh, yeah. in our uh, group chat. And so that that's really amazing, the talent that she got. It's really amazing. And I, I salute her for that. Ma'am, that's what you call passion. <laughs> passion. Correct. Yeah, Correct. That, that's, that's true. Correct. Speaking of passion, I remembered yun nga. I, I remember si Tita Omega na naman. Na, uh, they have this uh, art gallery sa, mm -hmm. sa Mayseda. You know, and uh, I was blessed to be one of those two or who helped her out sa, sa opening nila, sa blessing ng kanilang uh, art gallery. Napakaganda and they have a lot of not only professional painters but also amateur painters. You know, they would feature them sa, sa art gallery nila. Nice. You know? So, yeah, maybe you can also get hold of the son, si Shalom. Shalom is also a teacher before sa CPU, elementary. You know, mm -hmm. so sayang, uh, sayang at uh, nagpahinga na si Tita Omega. So, I cannot endorse you sa kanya. <laughs> <laughs> nabag, nabag na. <laughs> so we can get home of Shalom, ma'am. I can I can connect yeah. you with with Shalom and maybe you know you can arrange uh an an exhibit. Sa kanilang, uh, shop. Are, are you talking of Seda Hotel? Uh, no, is sa likod. Sa likod. Okay. Seda Hotel. It's sa katabi niya. May I forgot the I forgot the name of the building. Pero nasa second floor po sila. Uh, mm -hmm. Omriel, Omriel Art Gallery, something ang ano ang ang name ng ano niya ng uh, ng studio. But anyhow, is it the residence uh, partner? Is it the yes, residence? Sir. Kasi parang banda doon yung ano nila yung bahay nila it's ba? It's not going. It's not going sa direction ng uh, um, medical hospital. It's mm -hmm. iba uh, seda sa harap niya magdo. Diba? Seda Makdo. Going that line. Going that line. Papuntang... In that area. Yeah, not, yeah that uh, is ano. where my old office is. Now, before we closed. Now, I, used, I used to hold office there. After the pandemic, we closed it. Kasi hindi na kaya yung rent. <laughs> and then we, we transferred. <laughs> so, ma'am, uh, was it also part of the depression uh, closing the business? Yes. Primarily, it was. Primarily, it was the closing of the business. But then again, so what we did, no, that's that's the the, the one that we're talking about is the side of me, your personal, no, the art. Mm -hmm. But then what we did with the business is we transferred. Um, we have a, a smaller company called the Perfect Planners, and that's into trainings. So we mm -hmm. transferred to the building of my mother in Hibauan. Kasi siyempre kung mother mo, pwede hindi ka muna magbayad ng rent. Thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> use now, pay later. <laughs> So we are now into test the training. Na approved na. Oh, so, nice. but then again, we are waiting until Tesla will allow us to do face to face. Yes. Okay. So thank so, God, no, my Yes. So what? Sir. What can you encourage or what can you uh, advise to some uh, listeners natin who are also in the verge of uh, depression? Okay. Pandemic. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, uh, sabi nga ni Picasso, there's a there's an artist in every child. I, I can only say on this side, no, on this, I can speak on the side of art because I experienced that myself. I sabi nga ni Picasso, I said there's there's an artist in every child. The question is how to be to be that artist when you grow up, how to remain an artist. So it's all there, it's in us. You just have to discover it. But it doesn't mean that you have to paint on canvas because the art comes in several forms. Diba? Mm -hmm. Like you paint on potteries, you may even paint on, you know, clothes. Sure. Oh, oh, pwede sa shirts, pwede sa scarves. Or you, you, I have a friend who does things with a broken glass. Mayroon siya ginagawa sa mga colored glass na ginalagay niya sa canvas and it becomes an artwork. So mm -hmm. others decorate bottles. So ang dami. So ang importante is do something. Get some, parang diba, like gardening. It's yeah. something that when you do, you watch it grow, and then every day becomes an excitement. Because every day you wake up, you want to see what's happening. Ano nang progress that you have done? Kung ano nang namulaklak, ano nang nabunga. <laughs> so yeah. ako, when, when, when I post something, like it's my work, I hope now my friends are not really bored saying all my posts about my paintings. Because eh? <laughs> every time that I finish, I post. 
what is the excitement uh, there is the sharing and then seeing people giving you feedback that they 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 like your painting they they feel good they are cheered up by your paintings so pag may mga likes ako especially coming from artists ako tuwang tuwa ako tawag ko yung husband ko bakit ano lang nangyayari sa so because i nag-like si ganito nag-like si ganyan and he's a really good artist already so parang it, there's something that you know makes your day good no so sabi ko nga i really have a lot of blessings to thank god for no ayun nga ang sinasabi nila diba yung old saying that when god closes oh, when a door closes so god opens the window so that and really happened to me Yes. Mm. Uh, so, that's my partner. Uh, we are blessed also to have an artist like her. It's because every time she posted her work of art, of course, everybody, all our spirit, of course, uh, yung talaga napapapangiti kami, napapawaw kami uh, sa mga gawa niya. Kaya we are also inspired, although somehow in our own way, sabi nga, uh, she's busy doing her painting unlike sa amin naman, iba naman yung binibisihan namin na, I know, it's because we're doing some uh, research work uh, sa research ano work. naman. So, so, yung parang ganun, pero sa kanya naman, uh, every time she posts uh, ng kanyang gawa, ta- talagang our spirit is being lighted because of her. So, she's also uh, our inspiration in the college. So, g- ganun yung nagagawa. Ganun nagagawa sa ano ng kanyang uh, art of course sa amin. Thank you. The color, di ba? Correct me if I'm wrong. The color has a lot of emotional uh, yeah. connection, di ba? Mm-hmm. Alam mo, it depends. I really discovered that real, no? Now, when you paint, depende ko ano yung feeling mo. Like, there was a bad day. I had a bad day last Tuesday. Ang dami pa rin nangyari. So, I painted after it. So after the people coming down, and they came up with this painting. Okay, nasa na si Rage. Uh, so I came up with this painting to calm myself. So it's parang it's nature. Na wala. Pag tinignan mo lang parang gusto mo mag-boating. <laughs> and ma'am, remember also you had mentioned to us before na yung hindi yung inexpect mo pero it's some it turns out something na naging maganda yung parang nagkamali ka ata yes I remember a, a lot of are... times hmm. when when you make mistakes i also discovered that it's not the end of the world no it's at the end when you make mistakes you can still renew it you can redo it and it even becomes prettier than you know more beautiful than what you originally planned Pero ako sa magandang canvas, nagkamali ako, I really cannot, cannot do, uh, undo it anymore. So I painted black over it. Then Pero after that, that oh, oh, yes, yes, Rils. Uh, like, sa painting kasi, pag nagkamali ka, you can make it as a part of the painting itself. Pwede. Mm-hmm. Pwede and it, it depends kasi on the medium that you're using. Ang yes. oil, if you're using oil, it's more forgiving. Kahit, kahit isang araw pa, pwede mo siya ayusin kasi oil, matagal siya magano eh. Dry up. If you're using acrylic, you have to be very fast. Uh, because of practice, I think because of practice, you will already know the techniques. Ano kung kayo pwedeng gawin ko doon? Dahil nagkamali ako. Di ba? Parang ganun eh. <laughs> well, sabi nila, like, uh, syempre, <clears throat> like, invest ka sa painting, okay, as a, uh, as one of your coping mechanism, uh, medyo expensive siya sa painting. So, yeah, ano po, yung, uh, <laughs> yeah, what can you advise naman po doon sa mga gustong mag, uh, mag-try ng painting pero wala silang, you know, enough funds and sources to invest on the materials mm. painting? Actually, I started with uh, the pinakamurang uh, tools. <laughs> uh-huh. you, you later on discover na sa paint, mayroong paint na, na medyo mahal. May paint uh-huh. na maganda talaga, may paint. So I started with, with, with things na pwede kong bilhin sa National Bookstore na within the budget. So it's up to you. Actually, pwede mong ano, eh, titirin. Uh, when yeah. you're new, kaso lang, ang dami mong nawa- na, ano, eh, na nasasayang kasi hindi mo pa alam mag-mix. Oo. So just just start small. Uh, if you can, watercolor is very actually, mas mura siya kasi paper no? and watercolor. Oh, that's nice. Who made that? Ayo yan. Wow. Uh, hindi po. Uh, painting ng isang uh, apo. Apo. He would he would call me Lolo. Okay? 
isang Galing. apo na student ko before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ito mga murang-mura lang po. Kindly guess by looking at it. Ano po kaya ang medium niya, ma'am? Ang ginamit niyang ano? Is that pastel? I don't know. Wait, ha? Huh? Kasi ano lang yan, eh? parang illustration board and pastel. Yes, illustration board, pero ano yeah. yung medium niya na ginamit in painting? Or in is drawing. that... Uh... Or is that uh, ball pen ink? Yes, ma'am. Ball mm-hmm. pen lang. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I have a kid. Uni I have pen. a son who use uni ink. Uni, oh, uni ink. So, hindi siya... Galing na. Hindi actually, di po ba? Mm-hmm. So, so materials-wise, pwede. Board. Yeah. Oo. Actually, he was selling this. Pero sabi ko, Apo, ang ganda ng painting mo. Bilhin mo na. <laughs> oh, bilhin. Binigyan niya kagad. <laughs> you know, isa pa yon. it's a blessing, Rilge. If you yes. have a lot of friends who love you. Kasi most of my paintings are being bought by friends. And I was yes. telling them, I'm planning to come up in the gallery. Uh, we have an old house near our house. I'm pan- 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 uh, planning to come up in the gallery because I have, but my kids are also artists. Gusto ko rin i-display yung works nila. So, yun ang ginagawa ko ngayon. All the proceeds of the paintings that I'm selling actually goes to the building of the gallery. This was done by uh, Jan Mark Caballe. Education ah, okay. graduate then uh, sa CPU. So, yeah, uh, while you are answering this, may kukunin ako ng isang painting din ng isang anakan-anakan din sa, sa CPU din, a commerce uh, graduate, si, si Chris mm-hmm. Barret. But this time, I, I oil think it's CPU. In CPU, they have, uh, they have an organization. Eh. Tama ba ko, Ma'am yeah, Mears? Oo, oh, may ara silang, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's lapis or pens. Uh, mm, I think they have uh, an organization. Uh, 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 si, ano, uh, 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 nila? Si Sir... May, um, may organization sila eh. Hindi ko lang alam kung yeah. ano ngayon. Uh, nag, nag-exhibit sila one time sa Robinson's. Mm, yeah. Paro. Ano? O, oh, Robinson Saro, si Sir... Ang sa printing press na maliit na bata. Si Sir... I forgot his name. And then so we po, also have one, yeah, ano... Si Alfea is with them. Oh, that's si nice. Si Sarero. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen Oil this. Oil siya. Yeah, ginawa namin tong ano, uh, costume. Pinaprint ko sa kanya sa t-shirt. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Galing, ano. Si Sir Alparas. Partner, si Sir Alparas. Burger King. Yeah, si Chris, manager again sa Burger King sa SMCT. Si John Mark is a teacher sa Eden Grace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kasi Pardon? hindi mo pwedeng gawin ano eh. Hindi mo pwedeng gawing profession mean bread and butter ang being an artist. <laughs> wow, oh. Yeah, you right. need to have another profession to support your expenses yeah. as an artist. <laughs> okay. Speaking of support and artist, ma'am, uh, since you mentioned you need to support and uh, bread and butter, sa pandemic ngayon that we are facing with, can you somehow say that there is a life or a future for artists like you sa painting or, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I really think so. I really think so. I, I don't know. No? Not all people are into art. Not all mm. people can appreciate nice colors, nice drawings, diba? So, so uh, I, I even noticed, now what I do is, diba, I have, I have my paintings displayed. Pag pumapasok yung aking help, yung masahista ko, tinatanong ko, alin dyan yung gusto mo? I, I, I ask people, and you, you will discover iba-iba ang gusto nila. Some like the paintings na ikaw mismo hindi mo gusto. Some like this one na parang gustong-gusto mo, pero parang mayroon siyang nakita. So, perception of art is different from each person, for each person. So, that's why if you, you want to go into commercial art, you really have to adjust also. That's why most artists do not want to go into commercial art. Kasi nasisira, sabi nila, ang pagkaka-artist nila. Kasi dinidiktahan sila kung anong gagawin. Di ba? Mm-hmm. If you're an artist, you want to do things your way, eh. Kung ano mo siya piniperceive. But if you want to earn from that art, <laughs> some into go commercial art, uh, you know, commercial art, some join companies. So medyo, you have to make, um, what do you call this, compromise. Di ba? Oo. So kung bread and butter talaga gusto mo, unless na mukhang, alam mo kasi, Rilj, lahat na artist na nag-earn, namatay muna sila bago sila nag-earn. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. right. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh it's more of a passion. It's more of a vocation. Sabi nga di ba? Parang you don't expect that you are learning to be an artist to earn from it, di ba? You want to be an artist because it's a self-expression. You you want to share to the world what you feel. You want yeah. to, to entice people. You want to inspire people. But you know when you when somebody buys your painting and then inspires siya, bonus na yan. Diba? Wow, he loves it so much na bumili siya. Ang sarap-sarap ng feeling. Right. And I love that painting sa likod mo, may yung ano, yung may bang, bangka and the river yeah. that you you show there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the latest. That's the latest of the link. Oo, mm. nung medyo bad, I had a bad day. So parang it was very, very uh, 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 depressing day. Ang daming nangyari. So at the end of the day, pag uwi ko, nagpaint ako ng something coming. So nag nakam talaga ako. <laughs> not yeah, it's very, very nice. And yeah, it, it is indeed very calming. Um, it's, you know. I have noticed, ma'am, that um, all of your paintings behind you are all flowers and plants. Yeah. Now, is there like, you know, a therapeutic side of painting plants or something like that? Yeah, I love I like painting nature, plants, flowers. Kasi parang it cheers me up eh. Parang, di ba? I, I don't know, there are artists who loves uh, medyo dark. Iba naman yung colors nila. Sa akin kasi, the more colorful it is, the more cheerful it is. Uh, I have sunflowers on pots na talaga makag-cheer you up, no? I even have a friend client. Lahat ng sunflower na ginagawa ko, dibili niya. <laughs> She's also from CPU. <laughs> okay. Depende kasi partner din sa ano, sa mood nung ano nung artist. At the same time, I, I do believe na ano, or oh, I do believe na yung ano mo, yung inspiration mo kasi minsan yung iba may doon mayroon sa city life yung inspiration nila mm -hmm. o kaya doon sa may uh, mga seascape na ano na tinatawag or landscape so iba-iba eh yung ano yung gusto ay and somehow na notice ko din si Ma'am May it's because she really loves plant she really loves flowers so kasi yun din ang una niyang passion eh uh, magdami siya ano way back then way back then mga ilang taon na more than siguro mga 10 years ago talagang pag pumupunta ko doon sa bahay nila it's makikita mo wow yung mga flowers and at the same time, partner din talaga sila ni Sir, ano eh, ni Sir Philip, uh, Sir Philippe, we're in, uh, Sir Philippe really loves also plants. So, ang ganda nung tandem nilang dalawa, na yung talagang partnership din nila ba, na pag, ano, parang yung, ito, parang this spot, Rilge, I cannot paint on this unless it is prepared by my husband. Because the yeah. preparation of this spot, eto mas madugo ang preparation kasi sina sander pinuputi mm. electric sander pa yung ginagamit and then pinuputi and then sina sander ulit and then uh, dried up under the sun and then first um, acrylic base before i can paint on it kasi if you paint on on the terracotta na raw ang pangit ano siya very rough on surface oo so most of, and then yung mga mga paintings ko siya nagpe-frame so when you buy a painting from me, bonus na yung framing. framing. <laughs> automatic na, na. Oh, oh. automatic yeah. na may frame. Yeah. Kaya ang ganda yeah. ng ano, ang ganda ng tandem nila partner. So yung preliminary sa pot, it's ginagawa ni Sir. Tapos yung parang middle si Ma'am, yung pinaka beauty siya. Tapos pin finish <laughs> up ng ni Sir yung ano, especially doon sa ano na oh, sa canvas na, yung framing. I'm speaking of tandem, no, uh, partnership in uni, sir. Now, uh, how important it is to have somebody uh, beside you to to support you and to hold you during this pandemic? Very important. You know, uh, can you just imagine being alone and then you 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 in the middle of the night, like something like that? No, you you realize things are not going the way it should be, and then you you're alone. You know, masama, masama pa. So you having people around you. My kids are not with us, but we still keep in touch. Um, one is out of the country, another one is in Manila, and then the other one is here, but he lives in another uh, place, no, in in Savannah. 
Um, it's even in even in my paintings, bago ko yun release sa public. <laughs> Pinapa comment ko mo yung family ko. So it's my kids who so really, oh ma, I think you should ganito. Ma, very good. Ang sila ano eh, ang galing nila mag, ano, mag uh, put in a good word. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they they taught me how to do lights, light and shading, and then you know play with light in my in my ano in my paintings. Sila yung nanturo actually. It's my kids who taught me. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, 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 lights and combinations, mama, no, what basic steps or basic concepts can you give to <laughs> all our viewers who would like also to to go into painting or drawing? You know. Uh, what to go? Let's see, three steps. Na okay. base that you would like to, you know, alam mo, um, mas maganda if you're a, if you're an artist, talagang you you have a, a, a drawing, what do you call this, a drawing board with you, a sketch pad. Uh -oh. But a lot of artists would also tell you that they, they get inspiration from other painters. Mm -hmm. Ang inspiration ko si Pinterest. <laughs> You know, if you are into Pinterest, you get all sorts of inspiration. And uh, artists actually take inspiration from other artists also, no? But then you come up with your own. Inspiration sa kanya, for example, inspiration mo si Claude Monet. Pero yung, 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 inspiration lang. But the final output is actually what you feel. Mm. So for an artist, actually, sabi nga ni Picasso, favorite ko kasi siya ng dami niyang ano eh. <laughs> What you can imagine is real. What all that you can imagine is real. So as an artist, ang ganda ng, ng world ng artists, you know why? You are on your own. Nobody will tell you that's wrong. Nobody will tell you mali yan. Your imagination is, you know, yours. So the, nobody can tell you, hindi pwede yan. You put it into canvas. Um, what will I... Yung aking advice is that you should practice, practice, practice. Yun talaga. If you want to do something in anything, pwede, pwede siya dance, pwede painting, pwede cooking, it boils down to practice. Practice your strokes, learn from it. Kasi pag sige mo, practice, malalaman mo eh. You develop your own style. Yes. Uh, so it's very hard actually to teach painting, no? The, the, the best that you can do is make them follow. But there are things that you cannot teach. Di ba? Uh, may mga things talaga na parang, ayun, nagluluto si Mamir na. Paano may tuturo yung taste, season to taste? Paano may tuturo yung taste na masarap? You cannot, you cannot really actually teach that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you could teach your tongue. Eh, yun eh. Yun dapat yung masasanay yung tongue mo na malalaman mo kung ano yung masarap. Mm -hmm. the, same thing, the, same it, the same it with painting, I think. So it's uh, somehow when you are... Um, ang tawag ito? yung patuloy ba yung, yung constant yung mga ginagawa mo and somehow you would develop and you would discover a lot of things uh, in your work we in as you go along the, the way of course or along the line of your work talagang i-improve ka gumaganda at gumaganda yung yung mo I did that in my tongue but my nose Ah, okay, I, yeah, I, 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 your tongue, uh, our senses, before. our senses, I, our nose, our before. tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Lumaki po ako kasi yung grandfather ko sa mother's side, and both both sides, ma, ang gagaling nilang magluto. So we would usually taste the food by smell. Uh, we would taste the food by smell, not by taste. Na literal na taste, yung, yung, yung ilong namin ang unang kumakain. <laughs> Mm -hmm. if, if the smell is good, you know, but now medyo kalbo na, so marami ng mga differences at taste, so hindi na ganun ka-reliable. <laughs> but aside from sa... Okay, As, may nadagdag pa pala ko, Rilge, no? aside from the practice thing, uh, okay. have courage. Be Kasi alam ta, meron tayong fears eh. Like my fear ka, the first, the first painting that I got, I had this fear na baka, yikes, pag nilabas ko to, pag pinose ko to, baka di ba say, ano ba yan? Mas maganda pa rin yung anak ko mag-drawing dyan. Di ba? You always have that fear. So take courage. I mean, you take know, courage. if you don't take that one step forward, you will never get to walk. Di ba? So there, there was a movie that I watched yesterday. I know, I, I don't know if you watch it, Luca. It was a, re a new release by Pixar Studios. It's, it's, um, um, animated. 
Ang galing okay. because there, there's this story about the kid. Meron diyang sa isang saying na sinasabi niya kasi ang setting ano eh Italy, Silencio Bruno. When he says Silencio Bruno, that means something in his mind pag sinasabing wag wag, no matakot ka. Pag sinasabi niya yung Silencio Bruno, sinasabi niya go ahead, go ahead, stop that uh, person from telling you not to do it. So you have to be brave. Right. Take courage. Oo. The same thing, yeah. Kahit okay. siguro naman. Uh, part, uh, that's, no, that's what really we need. It's because the moment we are afraid, of course, to step, um, even a step, of course, then nothing would happen. So, okay. yes, that's really, really true. Uh, by the way, partner, we have a friend from India who is watching now. Calvin, oh. thanks for watching. Yeah, hello, uh, internet. He's also a, no, he's a movie director. He's a movie director partner. So he's si, si one no. of our... Si Calvin si, si, is a movie director uh, from India. Uh, and uh, India. he was here last... I don't know when was that? Five years ago or more during our uh, service uh, learning. Uh, international mm -hmm. service learning uh, way back then. So, he's in my team. Partner, baka pwede natin siyang i-guest soon. Oh, Calvin. Uh, Real Jen is asking <laughs> if anybody <laughs> wants to be our guest one time. So, uh, yeah. to be a part, of course, of our <laughs> program. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Calvin, Joe, Marcos, Calvin. Calvin. And hi, Calvin. If I know you're watching right now in <laughs> India, uh, I, I have a good brother there in in India. But uh, I hope to oh, not. I hope, but I'm looking forward you know, to to having you soon because you are into movies, right? Into directing, <laughs> into theater. We have uh, last week. Ang guest po namin, ma'am si ano si Juan Mig Bundok, you know. Oh. So, uh, yeah, uh, one big bundok. And so we would love to have another, you know, showbiz uh, figure sometime soon. Okay. And, uh, hello, select speak. Okay. I'd like also to say good afternoon kay John from uh, Surigao. Okay. So anyway, mom, as I was asking earlier, aside from painting, what keeps you strong during Sorry. what kept? What kept you strong during the pandemic? Well, uh, actually, it boils down to the love of family and friends. Yun yun eh. Uh, it's very important to have the support of people around you who's telling you that everything's going to be all right. And of course, a lot of prayers. Prayers, prayers, prayers. That's really, you know, what's keeping us through. No, until now. Uh, wala naman eh, di ba? If you cannot handle it anymore, let somebody... Let the master artist up there handle it. Yun lang yun eh. Let him take the will. I think that's the best advice, no? That I can I can really tell everyone. Ito nangyari sa akin. Yun lang. Let him take charge. Nothing will go wrong. Diba? Correct, correct. So, ma'am, um, we'd love to ask more questions about painting and stuff, but uh, I know you're busy and our time is also running short, you know? I'm not quite so sure if Raisa is watching, but then I forwarded the, the link to her. So if I, Raisa is yeah, watching, if she's working. Uh, the, daughter, um, the daughter might probably watch later on. Okay, so mm -hmm. my YouTube. So Raisa, I miss you, my dear. Okay, That's my Raisa daughter in Guam. Oh, her daughter in Guam. So anak-anak. <laughs> Uh, anak college. anak ni Mamir na. <laughs> and so real, there's something pala that happened to me also. After the painting, I also went into blogging. So I, I have a personal blog that which talks about my art. So medyo, uh, yeah, it's Maytam's Paint. It's in um, WordPress. It's just called May Tams Paints. May kasi di ba M-A-E. Tapos Tams is tap short for Tamayo. That's my maiden name. May Tams Paints. Uh, it's M-A-E. T-A-M-S. May Tams. Short for Tamayo. Ah, okay. May Tams Paints. Paints. 
Paints. Paints. Um, paints. Uh, as in painting, paints. Okay, uh, let me see if I have it. If I have it right. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And, okay. So where can they get in where can they uh browse this po sa Facebook, sa YouTube, sa Ah uh, it's in, it's in ano, it's in sa Google WordPress yan eh. Anyway, uh, I can also what do you call this? Usually uh if I just give the link, nakiklik na Manila. Um so it's it's in WordPress, it's in WordPress. So pag I give it to Mommy na. So pag mm -hmm. nag-search sa Google, they would just uh search for me thumbs paints. Yeah, hopefully it will come out there. Uh -oh. Good. Okay. So guys, uh, there you have it. And, uh, if you are fond of painting and such, you can just search this out. Okay. If, mm -hmm. if you are having trouble looking at it or searching for it, wag po kayong mahiya. you can buzz in and drop your comments there. So at the comment section and uh, we will connect with mommy and ask for the link or something. So that you can also uh, enjoy and maybe my order. FB, my FB page din kami, Panes Art Gallery. Ayo, Panes uh, Art, Art Gallery. So it's very easy to, to that's one, that one is very easy to search in Facebook. Panes Art Gallery. So all the works of myself and my kids are there also. And then the uh, works of my husband who's into World Woodcraft. Yes, mm. that's it. Yeah. So, Panis Art so, Galleries, Facebook. Okay. Kung baga partner, pamilya ng mga talented yan. <laughs> Ayan. Ay, nakakaisa ng ano, eh, pinagkaisa talaga sila. Yeah. So, you know, as uh, we face the pandemic, I think Mom Panis would agree with me you know, that as we face the pandemic, each one of us have their inner, innate na, na coping mechanism. Tama, ma'am? Right? Yes. We just need to, to discover them and to open our, our eyes and our skills kung ano yung uh, gift natin. And it is one of the things that this pandemic is telling us to dig deeper into ourselves. Akalaan nyo si ma'am, ang mga anak, puro talent. Tapos, puro painting. Tapos siya, she just realized it just a year ago that she also had the skill Less than a year, partner. Less than a year. <laughs> Less than a year niya lang na. Mom, uh, speaking of that, uh, last question for before before we end. Were you just like a bit shy because you only realized it almost a year ago? Na may skill ka pala sa painting wherein all your kids are good at painting. Um, Not shy, but because because all of them are really happy for me, excited for me. So parang, parang I was also encouraged. Parang gusto gusto ko rin ipakita sa kina. I want to make them smile also. Oh, mommy can do this. Diba? <laughs> Balik chat na eh. Balik chat. <laughs> yeah. So parang their approval is actually really counts. So parang I would like to please them also and tell them all my progress. And they all love my progress. Ang tuha na sila. Oh, ma, ang galing na. They can, you know, you have already a uh, a 3D feel, you can, you already have this, ano, gusto gusto nila. So, yun, yun, but, ano, what kept me going. There was no pride na, hey, ang na, ang namana ninyo is a recessive trait that I have inner me, in the inner me. So, sa inyo mo, Actually, it was, it became a joke, it became a joke between me and my husband. Oh, sa akin uh -huh. ba yan o sa'yo? No? Kasi my husband <laughs> is really good in carpentry, eh. Ang galing niya sa woodcraft, he is good in designs, but he is technical, technical design. So when I discovered painting, it became a joke. Kung hindi pala sa yo sa akin pala ng galing. <laughs> right, right. You know, but yeah, at least uh, the punchline there, my friends, nagaya ng nang sabi ni ni Mam Panes kanina, that uh, we just need to discover kung ano ay kung kasi iba iba tayo, ano iba iba ang coping mechanism natin. So we just have to think positive, you know, instead of rattling around and blubbering around, you know. And whining. <laughs> and whining, correct, correct, and whining around. Why don't we sit back, relax, and think what we can do? Yeah. It does not have to be very expensive, right? It does not have to be very expensive. Just like the, the, the drawing that I saw from J. 
John yeah. Mark Valier, ball pen nga lang eh, di ba? It's just Yung a ball pen. charcoal, di ba? Charcoal. Charcoal. So, charcoal. You know, can do a lot of things. So, um, Hey, ma'am, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Any last words or final yeah. words? I, I, would like, I would like to thank you, Rilj and Ma'am Mirna. Because oh, actually, well. I was joking with Ma'am Mirna that, you know, I'm very excited about this because I've been to a lot of, you know, uh, seminars, talk shows, ganito. But it's the first time that I invite, I'm invited because of my painting and that really excites me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it is something that I am very much um, thankful no, for from the Lord above because it's a gift. I, I know it's a gift. Na, na, not everybody, not everybody can really go out and you know discover. So the gift is actually the discovery side of painting. And then I was guided. No, I, I think I was guided, Rilch. It's not just my only myself discovering it, but I was guided up there. Kung paano ko siya i-overcome, what I am feeling during those pandemic times, no? So, everybody, please, the, 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 the bottom line is ask for guidance from up there. Pray. And, of course, we don't just pray. We have to help ourselves. Kasi, di ba, tutulungan ka, pero tulungan mong self mo. So, what, what, is that, what is that tulong of yourself is find out. You have a lot of maybe talents, no? Waiting to be you know, exposed. Maybe you can dance, actually. You can cook. You can you can sing. Diba? Or in my case, I can paint. So, sabi ko pa nga, gusto ko pa yata mag-aral ng medicine, hindi joke. <laughs> diba? Parang you, you want to do a lot of things in your lifetime. Mm. Diba? So, I, I think that that gift, we have to be thankful that we have the positive attitude. Kasi there's a lot of people who are also, you know, parang they feel lost and I, I'm not taking that against them. Sometimes it's a disease that you cannot also manage on your own. So you need a lot of support from from your the people who love you and of course from the person above. So I would like to thank you very much. This has been fun. I didn't know it was already one hour. Kasi kung gusto mo pinag-uusapan mo, di ba? Gusto-gusto mo. You don't you won't mind that time anymore. Okay, ma'am. Uh, maka, maka, maka next time po kami sa inyo in uh, another topic naman po sometime in the future. Na yeah. We could study Lovely. again. Yeah, so, uh, no problem. Yeah, and then naman si Ma'am Mirna. So uh, we would just keep in touch with her and... Uh, you know, you are one bubbly lady. You know, we are just so blessed mga guests natin dito sa real, sa banding with real. Siya, lahat mga yes. bubbly people. You know? yeah. so, uh, thank you very much, ma'am. And, uh, thank you, we, uh, okay. thank you, you very know. much, ma'am, for um, yeah, uh, I can... being with us. May gusto ka i-greet or shout uh, out? I don't know if my kids, of course it's my kids if they're watching. Here I am, people. Peeps. <laughs> you should be proud of your mother. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. I'm sure they are. I'm sure uh, they thank are. you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, partner, thank you daw. Sabi ni, ano, sabi ni Calvin for, ano, sabi niya, ma'am, thank you for introducing me. So, yeah. probably one of, yeah, Calvin, if you're still around, uh, one uh, session probably would be you yeah. in our uh, program. Yes, you know, uh, September natin na, na spot is uh, vacant pa naman. But mm -hmm. before we totally close, I would like to invite all of you again, you know, um, next month, ang topic po natin are parents with children who have special needs. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we would have one family uh, every Sunday, na may anak, na may mga special needs, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, we look forward to also having you with us and joining you with us, as well as uh, as promised, supposedly next Sunday, which is the last Sunday of July, my part two po sana tayo ng ating uh, emotional intelligence, you know, with uh, yes. Doctor Gagaribay. But sad to say, um, umuwi na po siya sa sa ating panginoon. The Lord has Called her home a few days ago. So uh, next Sunday, we would have a special tribute for the mm -hmm. life of uh, Dr. Omega Garibay. And hopefully, mm -hmm. we could you know, 
gather some tributes and let me um you know announce in advance now thank you for those who have already uh, sent their tributes to us so thank you thank you very much we will be posting them uh next sunday okay and as well on the bright side of life no uh we would like also to invite you partner diba every saturday, yes, every saturday uh, at two o'clock two to three yeah. uh p.m it's reunion okay uh of course our love series partner yes okay. now we so have I, I hope our to, uh, be with you once again during that time so it's not only Sunday that you would be hearing us, but we have also the Saturday. So uh, feel free, of course, to be with us. And you could uh, ask anything that you want uh, to ask for or mm -hmm. any topic. You could suggest also a topic if uh, uh, you want a topic to be discussed. So we could also discuss with uh, our partners here. And uh, any comment, problems, whatever you wanted to share also with us, you are free to do so. So uh, yeah. subscribe for those who have not subscribed. Then uh, watch us every Saturday and Sunday at 2 to 3 p.m. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. No, as what partner Mirna have said, ang sa mga hindi pa mo nakasubscribe, please uh, feel free to click that little link on your on your uh, lower right okay uh and thank you very much to all who have subscribed no? uh we are now on our entering our fourth month and we have as of the moment 245 subscribers ayan wow. arriba no? so thank you thank you bago ako pumasok ng ano nung tiningnan ko when i asked you kung ano tawag nito yung sa link uh, I saw that it was only 244. So somebody had uh, subscribed, of course, yes. during the period within, uh, within an hour. Okay, so hour, thank you yes. for the first time. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, I'm very sure if you're if you're happy with, you know, and, and uh, inspired to some mga programs and some mga discussions natin dito, let's also share it with others so that you can also inspire yeah. them. Okay. So once again, don't forget to click that little link, okay, to, to subscribe, like, and watch us, okay? So again, uh, John, yes, ang computer ko is uh, doing good. Maraming salamat sa tulong mo, okay? Tatawagan kita after the show. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that's a real partner. Okay, sige, sige. Yeah. Yeah, so once again, uh, partner, thank you very much for being with me okay, this thank afternoon. Thank you, partner. Okay, yeah, God bless is. everyone and uh, good day. Yes, as we would always say, sa gitna ng kaguluhan, sa gitna ng uh, problema, never ever give up. Because God can read each falling tear. He sees each heart that's needing tear. He knows each path that is hard and difficult, but never ever give up. Because God is always near. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Happy birthday kay Arian. Yan. Si Arian. Okay, Arian, happy birthday. birthday. To compose ng ating mga music. No? Siya music. Siya compose mm -hmm. music natin dito sa, sa Real HR. And then next week, no? hopefully next week, we would already be having our program ID, no? program ID natin, which the music is also composed by Arian. Ayan. So, Lil, happy, happy birthday. And uh, thank you very much. Bye.